Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, let's see some very basic and important concepts in Verilog. First, what is Verilog? Verilog is a hardware description language. It is standardized as IEEE 1364 and it is going to describe the hardware which you are wish to design. And this Verilog will be based on the C language. If you look at the Verilog code, the syntax of the different things what we are going to use in Verilog will be similar to C language. So it is derived from the C language itself. And which are the different modeling styles present in Verilog means there are four different modeling styles. One is data flow style, another one is behavioral style and then structural style and then mixed style. So in the data flow style, we are going to use the logical expressions as it is using Verilog operators in the code. So if we are going to use the logical expressions as it is with the keyword assigned, then it is called as a data flow description. It describes how the data flows in between the modules. And then we have behavioral style. In this behavioral style, we are going to use the two main constructs of Verilog that describe the behavior using always and initial blocks. So here in the behavioral style, we can use conditional statements, we can use loops and the different structures what we have in C, those things are incorporated here. This style will be called as behavioral style. Then we have structural style. For this structural style, if you can take an example of full adder design, it may be designed using two half adders if the half adder is already available with you. So the structure of the half adder can be used in the design of full adder. So that becomes the subcomponent of a full adder. So these kind of things used in a uh, Verilog code will be called as structural style. And we can mix of these three styles while designing. So that will be called as mixed style. So these are the four different styles of Verilog modeling. Then how the Verilog module look like and which are the very important things present over there. Any Verilog module or Verilog code start with the keyword module and end with end module statement. In between, we will be having wires and registers and other variables we are going to declare and use it in the Verilog module. And as I said, it may consist of some data flow statements with a assigned keyword and it may consist of lower level modules such as half adder in the design of full adder or any uh, sub component or the lower level module that will be instantiated and if it is a behavioral statement, it will come under always or in the initial blocks. And also two very important um, methods we can say that is task and functions, which is provided by Verilog. They are very helpful in designing our electronic systems. So this is the structure of the Verilog module. Then how do we define Verilog module means this Verilog module is going to give you the behavior of the design what you are going to aim for and after the synthesis that Verilog module is going to give you the gate level circuit. It is like a descriptive language which is going to give you the hardware how it will be on the silicon after the synthesis. Then what do you mean by synthesis? Synthesis is a process of converting the high level description code into a optimized gate level representation that is synthesis. Before the synthesis is going to be done, we need to simulate that Verilog module and to look for the desired outputs for the set of inputs by looking at the waveform and logs. This will be called as simulation. To do the simulation, there are different simulators or the EDA tools available. Using those tools, we can simulate the Verilog module for the checking the correctness. So this is the very important concepts about the Verilog. In future videos, let us learn the different coding styles and the different methods of coding in Verilog. And also let us see System Verilog and UVM in further videos. Thank you.